Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB here on Flosstube, but also on Instagram and Etsy as well. Welcome to the Sunday Morning Briefing. Um, for those of you who are new subscribers, you might not realise that this changing background means that I'm in the Cotswolds for the weekend. My mum has a house here, so uh, every so often we're back home for a weekend or so. And so this is where I get to film. Now, I've been back here this weekend because we have been to the Creating Craft Show um, at the NEC, which also encompasses sewing for pleasure and something else. There was three, technically three shows on, but they all run together um, in like consecutive halls. So we went up there today and I have got a few bits and pieces of haul, although there wasn't a massive amount for cross stitches. There were some other little bits and bobs, which I have managed to pick up. Um, I have also just really, really enjoyed um, a Zoom lecture, a Zoom meeting um, with the lovely Claudia, um, who is a world expert on Bristol samplers. And she did a talk for the Sampler Guild um, all about Bristol samplers, but not necessarily the ones that you might be familiar with. These are the multicoloured ones, the, the ones that would likely have been the girls' second sampler. So we're all very famous with the red, the big red ones, um, or not so big red ones, because they were actually stitched uh, very, very small. But yeah, the, the second ones, the multicoloured ones, the ones that have the ships on, or Queen Victoria's dog, or other certain motifs. Um, and she treated us to a lovely, lovely talk all about that. And um, a couple of the participants uh, actually showed us their Bristol samplers as well. So it was lovely to see some of them in the flesh. So another reason, if you have not already, to join the Sampler Guild, because talks like these do crop up and you get to go along and just listen to world experts telling you stuff. And there's something incredibly lovely about that. As a teacher myself, to actually sit down and be told about something is just a real luxury. So really enjoyed that. I have got four finishes to show you tonight. Yes, four. Um, I said at the end of my last video, I quite fancied stitching on some smalls. Well, it turns out I really fancied stitching on some smalls. So everything I've got to show you tonight, you won't have seen before because it's, I've started everything this week, started and finished it. So I've started five projects and I finished four of them. One of them I actually only started um, sort of just before the Zoom call. So I'll show you that one. I showed you this last week. So this was the chart that was in the West Green Loft Yarns spring box or one of the two charts that was in the, in the box. And this is a chart by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And this wasn't an exclusive chart. You can just buy this from uh, either Cherry Hill Stitchery themselves or their Etsy store. In the box, it came with the threads. So these are the threads here and I put them on some lovely floss tags that my lovely friend Melanie gave me. And I've actually just got them on my, my Bowen bunny scissors are on there as well. If you can see, yeah, there we go. And so I just thought, well, I just fancy stitching something small. So I did, and I finished it. Now I haven't ironed it, but let me just find something to put behind it. Hopefully that will be okay. And let's get it up the right way. So there we are, bunnies love carrots. So this is stitched on the 32 count fabric that came with the spring box. So it's just a piece of white. And as I said to you a couple of weeks ago, I don't really like stitching on white much but turns out I do quite like stitching on white. <laughs> I just haven't done it for a while. So that is the Bunnies Love Carrots. So that's my first start and finish since you saw me last week. And then I thought, well, I'll have a little look on Cherry Hill Stitchery and see what else they've got. Now, bearing in mind in the box, I had a full skein of each of those five colours, which is good because Cherry Hill Stitchery do other designs in the set. So I thought, well, I'll carry on and I'll make the set. This one I think is called Carrot Patch, but I'm not entirely sure of its name, but you can find it on their Etsy store. Having said that, I bought my downloads from the Fat Quarter Shop because they were cheaper than getting them from Etsy. So 
I did that one. And then I did that one as well. So forgive my random extra threads there. So I ended up doing three of the Cherry Hill Stitchery set, if you like. So these will make a lovely, lovely little Easter display. Again, they're not normally my colours, but I just really enjoyed stitching. It's just a complete change, different colours, different fabric to the normally stitch on. I kind of slowed up on my stitching a little bit, which normally for me is a sign that something needs to change. I need to have a bit of a, a change rather than a rest. So I've got three of those now to finish up. I've got a couple of ideas how I'm going to finish them. So they're all done. And then when I was putting away my charts last week, um, one of the nights last week, I found this in my stash, which is called My Needle Berry by Erica Michaels. And I saw this and I put it back in the, in the filing cabinet. I thought, I really fancy stitching that. So I have, I've stitched it. Now, this is the kind of medium sized one. They've got on the back another one here, which has got a bit more detail on. So this is the one that I've stitched. This is got a bit more detail on it. And this is the same one, but stitched on a much, much smaller count. This chart and this chart are different. So I've had this one and I've done this one, but I liked it so much that I would like to get hold of the bigger one and stitch that. So, because I hate stitching on white, I stitched it on white. <laughs> because the fabric was there, if I'm honest. The fabric was there and it's a 32 count fabric and I've just stitched it in roughly the called for colours. In fact, some of them were actually the called for colours, but were quite a bit, some of mine were quite a bit darker than, whoops, come on, than the colours on here. So for example, the green, which is the thread, is actually the same thread it's just mine is a lot darker. So give me holding this chart up underneath. So there is my finish on that one. So I shall make that up into a strawberry. Love, love, love. I loved stitching that one. Really did. Hence why, as I said, I want to get hold of the bigger one. So those are my four starts and finishes since you last saw me. Nothing this week was shown, hmm, was shown last week. Just the way I roll. And then just before the Zoom, in fact, before we went out for food, we went down to, there's a, a, an Ask restaurant um, just in a couple of, a couple of little villages over. Um, if you're not familiar, Ask is just like a chain of Italian restaurants. Um, so we went for food there. And I started this next little piece just before we went there, when we got home from Birmingham, from the NEC. And then I stitched on it all the time that we, I was listening to Claudia's talk. So um, I picked this up at the um, NEC, one of the few sort of stitchy pieces that was there. Um, and this is Winter Holiday, part of the Winter Holiday collection, should I say, the Winter Holidays collection. And this is the little Scotty dog. So I thought it was lovely. This one is supposed to be a magnet and actually comes with the little magnet. But I normally just put mine on a piece of ribbon and use them as just a small ornament instead. So there he is. And I've got a reasonable amount done, actually. I've still got a thread hanging. So let me just hold that. So there he is. He looks really, the stitching looks really scruffy there. Let's have a look. It's not, I promise. That's a bit better, there we go. So I've got his head, I've got a little bit of his ear to do, just in the process of doing his fancy little coat. And I've got the snow and some more of his fancy little coat and his feet to do. But he's really, really sweet and he's stitching up so nicely. I did wanna try and do another 12 Christmas ornaments this year, I've just not been very good at it. Um, so, he will definitely be a Christmas ornament and he potentially will be the first one from this year. 
And I do like these little kits. They just come with everything you need. They're just a nice little break in proceedings, something slightly different. And I do like stitching on perforated paper. So let's put that behind again because the stitching looks dreadful without. This little beaded nose. Fabulous. Love, love, love. So I should probably get that done maybe tomorrow, but it's certainly at some point through this week um, he will be done. And he comes with a little, let's see if I can get it, oh, a little red heart. I don't want to fling these open because anybody who's ever opened one of these Mill Hill boxes knows that if there was a competition to design the worst packaging for beads, this would win. Who on earth thought that that little packet, that as soon as you open it, it pings everything out, would be the best idea? I don't know. I don't know. But there's a little red heart there as well. Is it just me or is there no real way of opening those mill hills without sending everything flying? Right, so I'm gonna show you a freebie, a little freebie. This is Little Quaker ABC by Susan Aki. And I just thought it was really nice. I think I may have shown it a long, long time before. There's two or three of these. I think there's a Christmas one and I think there's a Halloween one. But this one's kind of a spring one because it's got a little rabbit in it. So you can stitch it in different colors or you can stitch it, I think it would look lovely in red. Uh, in black probably would look fabulous as well. So that is a little freebie there. You can download it from Fat Quarter Shop and I will put a link down below. Now the rest is haul. I've got a little bit more that I've ordered from um, Jeff P. Smith on eBay, which is their um, Nashville re releases because they put a few more things up and I decided that I really needed them. Um, and I've still got one that I haven't shown you because I thought I'd put it in my bag to bring to, to mum's this weekend and I haven't. So this is all stuff that I bought after my last packet arrived. <laughs> so let me show you what I've got. Another Stacey Nash one. This is Mary Robard's Pocket, which I really like. Let me take it out of this. Uh, there we go. Let me take it out of here. There we go. Love that. And it's got a nice alphabet on the rear as well. It is stitched on Tobias Seraphim, Seraphim, Seraphim Lillian, um, using Lancaster Red. It's not very big, but it'll make a lovely little stitching pocket like that. So I got that one. I also got this little Robin one, Straighten Your Crown, which I like. Um, uses Prehistoric by Forbidden Fibre Co and Michael's Navy. Now I've got some Michael's Navy actually because that was one of the sampler colours from the sampler edition weekend that we had just done. So keep your head held, keep your head high and your crown straight. Very true. Excellent. Love that one. And then this one. I love this one from Needlework Press. It's just so different, just so different. The fact that the alphabets go vertically rather than horizontally. As soon as they brought this out, I really liked it. It says Phoebe Ann V. We, uh, Town of Bern, September the 18th, 1825. Uh, does it say? It says, born in New Salem, Albany, making her 10 years old when she completed her sampler. Ah, the town of Bern in Albany County. So I'm not, I'm thinking of Bern elsewhere. Is it Switzerland, Bern? This is Albany County. Love, 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 love. Combination of eyelet stitches, four-sided stitch, vertical stitches. Just love it, just love it. 
So there was that one. As soon as I saw that one, I was like, I need that one in my life. And then Jeff P. Smith also had these little wooden things from Heartstring Samplery. And I just thought it was so unusual to see these, but quite often these get snaffled up at, um, at market. And nobody really seems to have any to sell. So it came as a pack of three. So you've got, could be a little bee, a butterfly. My favorite one is the sheep. Love that, nice thick wood. Just a little set of three floss holders. So I can't wait to use those. And I also got this little scissor fob, which says, my scissors, my rules on it, which goes with the chart that they released at market as well, um, which I bought. So I put it on my tiny, tiny black scissors. Love, love, love. And that is the end of my market haul until I find the one piece that I haven't shown you. So what I've got left is what I picked up today at the Crane and Craft Show. Like I said, there wasn't really that much there for stitches. Um, little bits of fabric, but not necessarily anything super interesting. Um, somebody, one of the stores had a, a DMC stand, but no really specialty flosses. Um, or if they did, they were kind of like parts of other crafts. So things like embroidery or needlework, felting, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, there wasn't a great deal of stuff there, but they had lots of interesting things, lots of interesting things. So one of the stands that I went to quite early on was kind of like a haberdasher's stand. So they had spools, so I grabbed a big spool and they had a couple of little packets of smaller spools. So I thought, well, they always come in handy, don't they, for finishes. And I bought some black mini pom-pom trim, some cream mini pom-pom trim, some yellow and some gray. And I also bought, whoops, some packs of ribbon. Now I couldn't find this when I was looking for it before so I made sure I bought it this time. So some centimetre ribbon, some inch ribbon, yeah some inch ribbon and some upper and lower case alphabet ribbon which will be lovely for finishing off. And I thought about the tops as well of the strawberries just wave it about, magic of a word, the tops of the strawberries. And then they had these, like a giant safety pin. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this giant safety pin, but I felt like I needed it in my life. And it is actually a giant safety pin. I did think it'd be quite nice to sort of hang something from it. Um, what I don't know, but I liked it. So therefore it came home with me. I bought a couple of these. These are just little, very thin cutouts. They weren't very expensive. I think they were a pound each. But I thought they were quite a nice size for um, mounting some stitching on. I also bought this, which is another Mill Hill kit, but I hadn't seen, well, I'd seen these before, but I'd never seen them in the flesh. It's Timberline Santas. Um, this is Douglas Fir Santa. So him with a little rabbit at the bottom really liked him. There is also a Scotch Pine Santa and a Norway Spruce Santa. They had the Norway Spruce Santa but not the Scotch Pine one. Um, so maybe pick up those once I've done this one. I picked up some, a couple of fat quarters of Christmas fabric. I was really, really drawn to this one. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I love that fabric. So I got a half metre of that one and then I got a half metre of the little, what are they, mistletoe or little white berries. It, it has got a little bit of a shimmer to it. The white berries are kind of almost like iridescent. So they came together as a pack, but this was my favourite one, really. Just give me another shot of that. 
just almost looks 3D, amazing. And then I picked up some Saju thread. Now I thought I'd picked up two the same colour, but I've picked up two different ones, 2030 and 2032. So what it means is I'm gonna have to go onto the website of the people I bought it and I'm gonna have to buy one more of each of them because I wanted two. Because if you're trying out a new thread, I think red's a good one to go for. So you can stitch a red sampler. Now, the reason I bought this is because this is a four ply thread. And I think I have a hunch that a single ply of, oops, a single ply of the thread is thinner than a single ply of DMC. And I wanted to see how good it would be on the 48 count linen that Linda from the Sampler Guild sent me to try. So I thought I'll pick up a couple of reds, or I thought I'll pick up a red, two of them, but that didn't quite work. Um, and I will give it a go on that. So like I said, they're a UK company that stocks the Saju. So I'll just give them a phone and say, could you pop another one of each in the posts for me? And then I'll have two of each. And then something completely different. I bought a pattern and the felt to make ha heirloom, heirloom, heirloom Harvey, not heirloom Harvey, heirloom Harvey. And he's a badger and he looked brilliant on the stand. He really did. And you make the badger, there he is in the buff, just uh, cover him over there in the buff. And then you make this little jacket and these little uh, little trousers and a little hat for him. And he just looks, he just looks fabulous. Now, I'm not sure as I might not do him a red jacket because I've got some red um, wool felt at home. So I may change his jacket colour. But this is the, the fabric pack that came that I bought to go with him. So you've got the greys and the very dark greys there. So I can't wait to have a go at making him because I need another hobby. I am bereft of hobbies and things to do. <laughs> well, there we go. Right, this has not been too long from me today. Hopefully normal service will resume next week. Don't forget on my previous video, I've got some giveaways running and they're not due to finish until next week. So if you've not watched last week's video yet, go back and watch it. Have a look, see if you want to enter for some of the giveaways because there are some really good ones on there. I'll say no more. Right, that's it from me. I'll see you next week. Stay classy, Stitchers.